Hey guys, my name is Ashray from Fun FTC, and today we are filming a behind the bot with Team 7182 Mechanical Paradox uh, at the Orange Qualifier in Virginia. Um, so guys, how are you guys doing so far? Uh, pretty well. We uh, ended up in semis, but unfortunately we lost. Um, we're doing pretty well though. Our robot is performing really well. So. Sounds awesome. Uh, so why don't you guys walk me through your robot? I know you guys have a, really, a lot of really cool things on your robot. Sure. Uh, so essentially, um, our drivetrain consists of bevel gears, so that allows us to have two uh, horizontal motors and two vertical motors in the back. And this allows us to have uh, space in the middle of our robot for the path of, for, of the stone, and also allows us to have a dip in our channel so our slides can fit in there. And this is a nine stage lift, so it's very big. Um, so for our intake, uh, we have a uh, little little pods you see here um, it has an angle that we figured out through math um, and even 3d printed parts so we can have the intake at that angle so the intake passes the stone through the middle and into our depositor which is really an extremely simple mechanism it has a stopper in the back and a servo that closes down over the front it's really simple but it's extremely robust <laughs> The depositor is lifted into the air by the by two sets of nine stage slides, which can lift up to 1,905 millimeters tall or 18 blocks. Uh, currently, they can only lift to about 14, but um, we're getting there. So once we're lifted in the air, we have to get out of the bot, and we do this using a pair of horizontal slides powered by a linkage. So the bar rotates and the slides extend. We did we chose a linkage because it's. Um, the friction isn't as bad as with a spool, and also we can achieve overextension with the slides. Uh, do you guys have any software uh, mechanisms that you're applying on your robot that really help your robot perform so well? So in Autonomous, we have an OpenCV program which applies a Gaussian blur. Uh, it filters out all colors except yellow. Uh, we then use a process of elimination to identify the sky stone. We chose to. Uh, filter out all colors except yellow because the sky stone does have a picture on it so the color is not fully black and it just makes it easier uh, then we're moving using motor encoders and a gyro sensor um, for accurate positioning and self-correction uh, thank you guys so much um, and good luck for your next competitions thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.